Hey guys, thanks for watching. We're doing it live. The very first Sorry What Live is August 14th at 7.30 at the world famous comedy store in Hollywood, California. If you're in town, if you're not, book a flight, get over there. Ahmed Weinberg and Robbie Hoffman will be joining me and we're gonna help you in real time, right to your real face. It's gonna be so fun, get your tickets. I keep the tickets where, where, where you would think. They're in my links, on my Instagram, on my social media. If you want the tickets, you know where to find them. I love you so much, let's get back to the show. Can you stand on an Apple box, please? And I'll stand on the ground, and then that will kind of just do, I need like a standing desk <laughs> no, 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 for sex. I couldn't agree more because it's like, I can't. This no, I can't bend over. I can't I can't reach, I can't anything. Yes. Like I need, I mean, maybe a sex swing, but we gotta hoist it a lot higher than you'd think. <laughs> Flying, right now, wait, can you believe this? Wait. Right now you're on the Sorry What podcast, hosted by Jared Goldstein with esteemed guest T.N. Tran. Wow, thank you Welcome. so much for having me. Thanks for being here. This is, um, it's, it's an honor. It's a huge favor to you. No, 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 wait. Huge favor to me? To you. Yeah, huge. No, yeah. I, it is an honor yes. to be here. I, I'm generous, and I like to um, I like to pull people up with me. I know. You love to <laughs> yeah. identify new voices. Exactly. And here's a new one. Exactly. I'm constantly, I, I look at it, I go, where are the lesbians? <laughs> where are the emerging where lesbians? Emerging <laughs> lesbians. <laughs> this is the Emerging Lesbian Summit. <laughs> what you Thank do God is it's so my brave, first, by the way. What, what do I do that's so What you so do is brave? so brave. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Being a lesbian in this Being in lesbian, this world, it's two girls. I'm going. What? And you're like, how does it even? <laughs> how does it even work? <laughs> how does that even work? How, how does it, it? And it's great. Yeah. Um, do you like this jacket? You look stunning. Okay. It's it is. I think it's made of plastic and metal. Um, oh, the it, more I, flammable, the better. Yeah. I mean, no. I think this would actually put out a fire. <laughs> I think if you threw this over a fire, it would go out instantly. <laughs> um, yeah. I think you're right, actually. Yeah, so it's on, and I do like it, but it might come off. And maybe it'll come off really slowly. Mm, only if you're good. And only if you play your cards right. Well, I'm here to play. Sick. Oh, my God, yes. Yes. How are you? If that's not too personal. No, it's just personal enough. Okay, great. Um, I'm good. Good. Yeah. We haven't seen each other in a little, in a little I know. Bit. We really haven't. Yeah. How are you? I'm bad. I thought so. I'm doing bad. I thought so. I am. <laughs> I'm struggling. I could tell. I could see through the screen. I mean, look, I started a podcast. It's a Things are help. low. <laughs> Things are bad. But so, uh, they could be worse. Yeah. And that's what I say every morning when I wake up. Things could be I worse. I go, hey, look, both shoulders could hurt. Only one does. Wait, only one does for me, too. <sighs> What is going on? What is that? What's going on? Is your right shoulder? Is it because we just turned 20? No, but if, if my mother had anything to do with it, she keeps blaming me for it. Oh, your mom's victim blaming you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, you did this to yourself. Yeah, and she's right. No, I literally did. What did you I already, do? I hurt myself working out like an idiot. Oh, but you look good. Not anymore. It was anymore. worth it. No. Oh, thank you. For those listening, and you, if you're not seeing the video, Jared looks good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's it hurts every day. My ho my shoulders hurt every single day for two. Me years. too. What the fuck? What are you doing? I don't know. I honestly, I mean, I haven't seen a medical professional. I've seen every kind, and none of them. They doctors need to pull their head out of their asses and start giving me a lollipop. Yeah. Because you're not doing it. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, how am I the first person to stump? 80 medical professionals. It's a shoulder. <laughs> you it's 2024. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm sitting with Jared Goldstein, rare shoulder disease. Yes. Rare this shoulder is, disease. This is RSD. We are raising awareness. This For emerging lesbian summit this year, colon, rare, rare shoulder, shoulder disease. disease. Oh, it's about time. Someone and we're said the only something. two brave, brave influencers dealing with this. Yeah. And you're an influencer. <laughs> Thank you for finally you saying are. it. You are. Thank you for saying you it. You have a podcast. I do have a podcast. It's called Jocular. Yes, and I host it with the wonderful ER Fightmaster and Katie Kershaw, and we talk about everything women's sports. Which I didn't even know was a thing until you said it. Yeah. Yeah. You but know, at this, emerging, having a huge at, moment. at this emerging lesbian summit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Um, it also just happens to be having a huge. It moment. is. Like, Are you watching? No, I don't watch anything. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, um, but I do. I just, it, I'm hearing it constantly, and it's becoming a part of my awareness that there is constantly like a new super famous woman in a sport that is changing the face of that sport. I think you have you've nailed it perfectly. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. And it's very, it's on? very cool. Does it did one thing set off the other and it's a domino now? I think or it's what? just been like slowly building for several years now, since like women's world cup soccer. Yeah. Now we're like Caitlin Clark, WNBA. We have Coco Golf, Serena Williams, the Olympics are about to start. It's just women like, are getting into this sports thing and now there's twice twice as many names I don't know. <laughs> I'm going, what? Who? <laughs> This is how many conversations you can't get into when you would try to go to the lesbian bars. Jared's always like behind being like, what, who? Yeah. Who are we <laughs> yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. I only know like four athletes and it's because Nicki Minaj sings about them. Okay. Tell me which one. Kyrie. And do you know what he plays? Okay. I won't tell you. I just know Kyrie. Okay. Um, uh, Manning, Eli Manning. Manning, Eli Manning. So there's there's someone out there named Manning Eli. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what he does, but he 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 Nicki Minaj. Which Nicki Minaj song? Um, the good one. Okay, I know exactly yeah. which one. I know exactly what the Ky- Kyrie and Manning Eli. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No, no, that one I know. That one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only way I know about sports. Uh, people. That's but, okay. Yeah, I mean, but maybe it, I can listen to Jocular. I think you should. And I'll laugh. I'll learn. You'll cry. I'll cry. You feel a little horny too. Fuck. I you know. are a hot host. We're a good looking we're a good looking trio, I think. Is it is there a buzz among the the L community about the pod? And is there like a growing fandom and it's just a bunch of like cool hot lesbians? I I like I'd like to think so. We like to call our fans jock straps and they're <laughs> they're amazing. That's they're they're cool. they're hot, they're funny. Are yeah. you doing live shows and seeing them? We are seeing them on the Instagrams, but we haven't okay. done a live show yet. Are you going to do a live show? I, uh, You're a hot host too. I we need to we need to we need to get one eye on this podcast in the first place before we can get a live show. Okay, this, it hasn't even come out yet. Oh, I can't believe I agreed to this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that's you should open your marriage when you do that. What when I do the 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 touring? God, I I, I really don't think I could ever open my marriage. That's sweet. <laughs> That's sweet. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I just... I love it. Thank you. But maybe I will. Who knows? When this podcast comes out in a few months, maybe next year. You don't year. have to decide right now, but you no, should no, decide I, soon. Okay. Okay. By the end of this I think, podcast... But I, I think at the end of this podcast, I should decide. You'll figure it out. Probably, yeah. Okay. Well, before we answer your question of whether or not you should open your marriage within the next 30 minutes, <laughs> what if we uh, take a voicemail? Let's start with a voicemail. Let's start with a voicemail. I Let's love that. Let's just start with one. Get one out of the way. Okay, I'm like, I agree. It's like I, I, we're procrastinating. It's like the homework. It's building up. I'm just like, yeah, just yeah. Do, just it's do feeling your like AP, AP Chem just is like. Just get AP Chem out of the way. Uh, I want to get a one. five on the test, but I never can. Yes, okay. do one, and then we'll make a grilled cheese. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Okay, I love that. Okay, headphones on. Headphones on. Oh, this feels electric. I have to have a middle part when I do the when the headphones go on. Okay. Did you just switch your part? I did. You look hotter. Do you like this? Yeah, I do. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. I used to think that um, headphones were my enemy, but but now you figured it out. I still I haven't figured it out quite yet. I don't think. I think you look great. I was fishing for it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, what if you what if you held it in your hand like one, like a okay like a DJ? No, okay. no, like like you take it off. Oh, your oh, head oh, oh. And you just yeah, you're okay, just okay. kind of like okay. like you're yeah, like. Okay. Ns, 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 ns. Does this work? I think that looks really good okay. for you. I feel like I kind of. It pop. makes you look like Steve Aoki. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you know yeah, that man. Yes, I know that man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Aoki. Yeah. I've always wanted to look like him. Hey, he's a good looking guy. He is a good looking <laughs> yeah. guy. We have the same length of hair. You literally do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am gonna do it like shall this. Shall we? Shall we make like Steve Aoki and hit it? Yeah. That's what DJ say, right? Play it one more time. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jared, this is Steve. Uh, I'm calling. I have, I need some advice. I have a girlfriend uh, that I've been dating now for three years, and recently she's been making fun of me for low T, testosterone. Um, So I looked online, and I started taking boron, which I guess is a, a supplement for 
bone density, but one of the side effects is helps with testosterone. And I felt good. Um, the downside is at work, everyone's saying I'm very snappy and edgy and aggressive. Um, I can't tell what's more important. So, yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Thanks. <gasps> Wow. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know what a boron supplement looks like, but in Neither my mind, it's like a loose, it's loose. It's in a big bag yeah. and it's loose. <laughs> when I think of bar, like the first, you know, um, barkeeper's friend? Yeah. <laughs> it's, you is take that a boron what, is, is when you take bar- a WD-40, you turn it upside down and you just. And you drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, when I hear boron, I'm thinking like, oh, I could probably also use that to clean my pots and pans. Yes. Borox? Is that okay, something? Okay, then maybe that is something. That might not be anything. Huh. Low T. Wow. Okay. How did the girlfriend even know? Yeah, what does that even mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Tea? What does that mean? It means you have less testosterone, so like you're less of a man. Like maybe you're like kind of... Is it like related to libido? Are they like not... I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah, let's just decide what we think it means. Okay. And then we will advise medically on that. Okay, great. So I think, yeah, he probably, he can't get hard. Yes, that's what I... Shriveled little cock. Truly, so little small. Little wimpy, wet little noodle. His girlfriend oh, is like... Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute and <laughs> small. Yeah. It's like a snail. If you touch it, it goes, it goes back, back in the shell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Steve has a has a little shrimp dick. A little shrimp dick. And the girlfriend is not getting dicked down enough. At all. At all. He can't fuck her at all no (laughs) and he also is very physically weak (laughs) he can't even open the car door no he can't yeah and he's probably crying all All the the time time. all the time wake up crying crying at like crying during sex crying he's like crying at the movies crying i'm bad at basketball oh oh, i can't throw a ball oh my shrimp dick is still wet. It never dries. I put a towel on after the shower, it's but it stays still wet. wet. It's so wet. I guess all my pants wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so he's taking the boron, and there's a side effect that it can make you a little edgy. I mean, that sounds like steroids. That it it like does. Steroids does that. It gives you more testosterone, and it makes you edgy. Um <sighs> I think here's what I want to say. Okay. I want to give your give yourself an adjustment period. Yeah. Give yourself a window. Give yourself. You know, you can scream at a few employees, all right? <laughs> Just a few. You're still you allowed get to two listen. Or three. You're still allowed to do it. And if you pick one of the weakest ones, they won't even speak up. Maybe they'll quit. Maybe they'll just quit, or they'll just like take it. You know? <laughs> yeah, they'll just take it. Maybe they'll just take it, and they won't say anything. Maybe anyway. they have low T, and they're they're they're, they're kinda... actually. Find the one in your office that has low T. Yeah. You know, maybe, yes, maybe make it like an office thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get everyone on bor- bor- boron. Boron. <laughs> <laughs> Get everyone on boron. Get everyone on boron, and then that way. Everyone's snapping at each everyone's other. Everyone's snapping. It's, it's, like, it's like a net zero with the snapping. Yes. And you can find your way through it. And I don't know, maybe you were just having a bad week. And maybe if you weren't on the bor- yes. boron, that's so hard to keep in my brain. Boron. Bor, and it's almost spelled like brain too. Really makes you think. Really makes you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe you can just kind of give yourself a few weeks to a month. I would say a month. And if you're actually a dick for a, a month yeah. for real, you have to stop. You have to stop, and then you also maybe have to break up with your girlfriend because if she can't take you at your low T, she doesn't deserve. She doesn't deserve you, you at, at your, your high. Screaming <laughs> at the office with a rock hard cop. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you a supplement girly no i am are you i've become i'm less of one but i used to be hardcore. okay like to the point of like it's actually bad for your health like you just get like i used to drink so much um carrot juice my hands and feet turned orange but is that is that considered a supplement i mean you're chasing something okay, okay you're trying okay. to fill something okay with a vitamin okay you know so for me, it felt like it. It was like, they call it, is it called mega dosing? It's called mega dosing. Okay. I used to do it with like vitamin B to like try to help my skin. <sighs> I've really like. And now have you pulled back? Yeah, yeah. But then there's always weird side effects when you stop. So what has happened? Like I couldn't shit for like a week. 
See, that to me is not worth the supplements. I love to shit every day. I know. <laughs> I know. You're obsessed with it. I am. I tell you every time. Yeah. Jared, I've gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, you're really, you're rubbing it in. I haven't done I know. it. And you I'm, are actually rubbing it into no, the I'm, sides of the toilet bowl. <laughs> Jared, I've gone. I've written, I've written it in. Yeah. Yeah, I've written the message in the poop. You did do it. <laughs> um, yeah. You can really get, you can get lost. Like people like, people think, uh, multivitamins and, and supplements don't work. They they actually do, and you. That's all you need, right? Okay. Yeah. It's just the multivitamin. No, I don't take a multivitamin. Oh, okay, okay. okay. No, multivitamins. I think are are bogus. I think the multivitamin might be bogus. Okay. You need like, hit me. Okay. You need the real deal, and you need. You know what I mean? Okay, like the purest form exactly. of like a vitamin yes. B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or like a what do they call that? Like um, lipospheric vitamin C. Do you know about this? No. Google it. Okay. Should we take another call? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, I'll, pl- I'll actually put these headphones oh on. Oh my God, you were holding, I was holding the whole time? Well, I was trying to be Steve Aoki and I... Is your is your elbow hurt? Yeah, my shoulder hurts. Fuck. Wait, what's going on with your shoulder? Can you speak to it? Yeah, I honestly think I, I heard it playing soccer Okay. like a, a while ago. Got checked by a, an opponent that was a lot bigger than me and just like <laughs> knocked me to the ground. Get her. And I like felt it kind of like not feel right and it just hasn't felt right since but i haven't like, how long I, ago was that it is it's from college no yeah i got checked and like broke a couple ribs and like jammed this up and then just like thought that it would just figure itself out so now it's just kind of like a thing <sighs> i know like it's just like a sore it's like a yes. unending oh, soreness oh i know I, i'm feeling it right now Yes. Every every word that leaves my lips. That's how I describe it to people. Yeah, like every you just like word sit there and feel that it. leaves my lips. I'm feeling it, and they're like, it bums people out. But it, like, also, I found out. I thought I thought I was being a little dramatic by saying I had chronic pain. Chronic pain is any pain that lasts longer than a year. So you and I both have, have chronic, chronic pain. pain. We are Lady Gaga. We are absolute at this emerging lesbian summit. We are <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're dealing with it. It sucks. It does suck. I fucking hate. I remember when I was younger, I used to be jealous of people who got massages, because I'd go like, "Why are you getting a massage? Like, that's such a luxury. oh, I'm gonna book my, I'm gonna book myself one." I, but it's like it, it's. I didn't realize. I wish someone said, "Hey, hey, hey, the reason you don't get massages and you don't think about them and you never even then it's because you have no pain." So people who are getting massages oh. all the time, they have pain that you don't have. Okay, they've been I used to think massages were this thing of like ooh, 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 cucumbers. Oh, yeah, on my you're eyes. so right. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. My life is easy because I'm rich. No. No, they've been no. living with unspeakable like yes, pain. Yes, that's it. That's all it is. Mm. And I'm like, damn. Also, when I was a kid, I didn't do my own laundry till I got to college. Same. And yeah, and then everybody was like, oh, uh, uh, that's what everyone said to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh, like you're a baby and you're an idiot and like you don't even know how to do laundry. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm such a baby and I'm such an idiot and I don't even know how to do laundry. <laughs> and then like my mom showed me once and I was like, that's it? This is, what's the big deal? Oh, okay. Now and I then, know what they know? Yes. Fine. Oh my God, I hate you people. <laughs> you people suck. You're fucking losers. You pour the thing in the thing and then you close it? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh God. So I, it's the same thing. I used to think that massages were like some fancy thing. Yes. Now I'm just like, no, it's for fucking it's people for, who are hurting. It is. Also, do you have this experience when you're drunk, you don't feel it as much? Yes, yes. Isn't that crazy? I have so much I empathy know. for the guy at the end of the bar. <laughs> The guy's just sitting like, at the end of the bar and he's drunk and everyone's like, oh, that's old. That's Larry. He's and you're like, it's drunk. probably his knees. Yes. It's Larry's he knees. He has nerve pain. He, <laughs> he was in the war. He has bad knees. His insurance isn't helping. He doesn't <laughs> he, want to be sitting there drunk. And he can't play he catch. He wants a better with, doctor that can help him. Exactly. And he wants to play catch with his grandkids. Yes. <laughs> that's all he wants. That's me drinking a White Claw. Me drinking a White Claw, I'm like, that's, that's me being that man. If you see me drinking White Claw, <laughs> I had a bad day. Okay. Th- I had now a I rough know. morning. Now I know. If you see me drinking like an old fashioned, I had a, I had a rough day. Whoa. The two genders, White Claw and old fashioned. That's amazing. Thank you. See, if I'm, if, I'm having a, if I'm having an old fashioned, it means I'm at like a swanky thing and I'm having a nice time. Oh, see, if I have an old fashioned, I'm like, okay, that was a long day and I need to treat myself because I like got through the day. Do you make them at home? Yeah, I do. Dyke? <laughs> 
How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Making a whiskey drink? Dyke. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's brown because it's for boys. Yeah, and that's why I drink it. Yeah. High tea um, over here. Wait, do you like what? scotch? I think it tastes... Disgusting. I, I don't love Say it. it. It's no, it, I think it it's tastes... It's disgusting. It's weird. As someone who loves alcohol, I love it. I do too. I, I love the taste. I love the way it makes me feel. My father-in-law loves like drinking scotch and smoking a cigar. And I'm like, I, I can't be that type of dyke. Like that's Ugh. too far. That's far. That's too far. I could never that's do that. That's the name of another podcast that they record here. Oh, well, you're welcome. Yeah. You're, <laughs> yeah, yeah well, yeah. you're welcome for the promo. We'll, we'll charge them. Okay, great. We'll charge them. Um, yeah, I love alcohol. I love martini. I love the taste of it. I'm, but scotch, man, I'm like, this is crazy. What no, are it, we dr- drinking? it drinks like, it tastes like it medicine. Tastes like it's attacking it, it's you. like a, it's sort of like a medicinal, but not in a fun way. No, no. And I tried it again recently to be like, okay, maybe that was just the first time I tried it. Let's try it again. No, babe. Whoa. I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> I like Malort. Oh, I do. I do like Malort. I like Fernet. I feel like Malort, Fernet, that sort of medicinal. Chicago. Yeah, Malort. Chicago. That's me. I, okay. Which one of these cameras? That's me. <laughs> I really like Malort. The first time I had it, um, Victoria, a comedian okay. in Chicago, uh, who runs the mic that was handed down to her by way of Cameron Esposito. Oh, the Coles open mic. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. I went to that mic. I had a really fun time. And... She was like, "Oh, you gotta do a malorch. I've never done it. You gotta do one." So then she comes back, and I'm like, "I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do this. Like, it's like it's probably some crazy. I think it's gonna be like purple. It's probably like six different schnapps. They like pick up the bar mat and they just dump it into a <laughs> cup. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing that. And then they bring it over, and it's clear. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, all right." And then because yeah, some guy had just done it, and he's like, "Don't do it. Oh, it like burned me. Oh my god." No, and people was, are so dramatic. They're over so Malort. dramatic about it. Yeah. It just tastes as bad as all alcohol. Which is kind of bad. Yeah. Uh, in this season, because the cicadas are out right now, there's uh-huh. some bar in Chicago that's doing like cicada infused Malort shots. So there's like these little bugs sitting at the top of almost like what's the other type of like worm? Don't people use like. Yes. Yeah. So like like a little pile of cicadas sits atop the Malort. Would you do that? Wait, is it in the bottle? It or- is in the bottle. So it's not in your glass. No, no, no. It doesn't make it to the glass. I don't. I mean, sure, I would. But I would I'm do like, it once. I don't like. I'm not a squeamish eater. Like I, yeah, I I'll like eat. to yeah. eat just about anything. But I do kind of draw the line, kind of at bugs. I've had like cricket. I've never had cricket. It was fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've had like ant. There's um also fine. There's like a fancy uh company that makes like really good coffee and they also will send you like a bucket of ants of flying ants dead ants that you mush up it's like a mexican delicacy oh it looks really good i think i would try that my mouth is watering thinking about oh mushing God, up ants I and love, eating it yeah that sounds it looks great. gorgeous it looks really really nice it's like a nutty kind of yeah it's very nutty yeah oh huh. yeah wow i'm learning so much low tea ant coffee wow yeah, I, didn't yeah. Think- well, I have a shot of a lord that's gotta that's gotta help your tea Oh, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Yes. Steve, take a shot of Malort. Think about it. It'll take your tea to the next level. What does that mean? I don't know. Probably like yelling and punching walls. Sick. (laughs) Cool. That's what everybody wants, right? I guess so. Wall punching tea. Have you ever punched a wall? Oh, my God. No. Have you? I mean, I've had to punch. I've like banged a wall Did you ever do martial arts? I took took one (laughs) lesson and I got kicked out because I laughed. You cannot laugh in yeah. someone's dojo. The guy wanted me to go, hi And I was like, LOL. <laughs> you have to go, hi And I did hi and I laughed. And I did it again, I laughed. And uh, I just, I, we, we, we literally could not get past hi And at the end of the class, the, the guy told my dad, maybe don't bring him back. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Which is crazy because the guy was white. And, you know, it is sort of my birthright. I know it is. You're learn so- how to fight ninja style i mean i feel like that's fucked up yeah (laughs) but i was i wouldn't have been good at karate i although when i was a senior in high school for some reason i think i knew college was coming and i was like i need to learn to fight and did (laughs) you gotta get ready no but i just really craved it i wanted to be a ninja i want to be able to defend myself i want to be able to do a backflip that is also a type of defense. <laughs> I mean, it's over. This shoulder, my knees. No, 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 no. You could. 
I no I want to say that that I think you could maybe do it, but I I think I'd be lying to you. Do you sleep on on your side? I sleep on my back now. <gasps> Wait, you can do it. Yeah, that's like the gold standard. Is sleeping. it the gold standard? Yes. I sleep on my back now, and nothing hurts. No. Whoa. It does help, and I got a special pillow too. Where does the pillow go? <laughs> behind my head. You'll never guess. <laughs> You'll never guess. Listen, I'm not telling. <laughs> It goes behind your head. Yeah. What about your lower back? Oh, I'm not doing anything to my lower back. I know people like to put, so I know people do like little under pillows the leg, under yeah. the legs to like, but I don't do that. You're just fine. I'm just fine. Whoa. Sorry. Good body over here. And. No. No, no, no. Can you sleep on your back? No. What do you sleep on your? Whoa. Whoa. See, that's crazy. That's really Stomach nuts. sleeper? <gasps> you're planking all night. You're planking all night. Oh my god, tummy time all night. <laughs> you, you remember that game with the pigs <laughs> and you you roll yes, the pigs. Pass the pigs. Is that what it was I called? I think so. Yeah. That's like a like a you like, like a, a position that's of points. Pass. Yeah, <laughs> like one pig perfectly is... up, one pig perfectly down. <laughs> How do you sleep? On my side, but I'm struggling now because my shoulder. I used to sleep on my right side. But now I kind of you can't shouldn't and it's my life is a waking hell every second. I'm so sorry. It's amazing. You move through it so bravely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I am. You carry it so wet. I was gonna say bullets <laughs> under this jacket. Oh my god! Get the air going. I feel like that jacket doesn't look like it breathes at all. Oh no! This no this this has no gills no lungs, no 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 airflow whatsoever for you. Oh my God. <gasps> Amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. <sighs> um, okay. Shall we roll seamlessly into another voicemail? I would love to. Okay. Let me fix also, my. What time do we start? Wait, before, before actually, before we do another yeah. one. Yeah. Let me ask you. Okay. What is, um, <clears throat> what is your, yeah, this is. No, I sat up for we're this. We're getting heavy hitting. Oh no. The lesbian summit is about to get, the, this is ah! why we all came here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your like experience with advice? Good, bad? Do you give it? Do you like giving it? Do you like getting it? Do you hate advice? I kind of hate it myself. How do you feel? I got, I mean, I like I like receiving advice from people that I respect. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. I think that's a good one. And I I I like like I don't think of myself as an advice giver, but if people need help or or want someone to listen, I'm mm -hmm. happy to be that person. To be a listener. I'm a, I'm a very, I, yeah, I like to be a listener. Okay. Yeah. I think you once gave me some really bad advice. Did I really? Oh you did. my God. What did I say? You said, you should let me borrow your book. Oh, and I never gave it back to you. Yeah. But I bought you a new book that wasn't. That I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> and the book was titled, Get Over It, Bitch. Yeah, well, Get Over It, Bitch. The book is mine now, honey. Oh, I do still have your book and I can return it to no, you. No, keep it. No, no it's I bad. Like it, you have it. No, why? I'm not going to read it again. My brain is broken. That was bad advice. I was yeah. like, oh, yes. No, like, but I'm glad you had it. Thank you. The book was. Oh, say my God. It. it was Ocean Vung's. Yes. Um, on Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. On Earth, We're Briefly, briefly Doesn't Gorgeous. Doesn't even fucking remember the name of the book. Gave it to her. I think this Should was this, this uh, being asked to be on this podcast under the emerging lesbian <laughs> summit yeah, yeah. Trojan horse was for you to <laughs> fucking confront me about this book. Oh, my God. <gasps> How dare you? Oh, my God. I will bring it. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it to you and you have to take it now. Honestly, any excuse to see you. Okay. Likewise. I'll okay. Likewise. I'll take an excuse. Likewise. All right. Let's dive into it. Okay. Hey, Jared. First time, long time. Um, I, so I am a father and obviously I think my, my kid's great. Um, but sometimes it's kind of, kind of annoying. And, uh, I guess what I, the advice I need is like when I'm in a social setting and I have my kid there and he's like, you know, bouncing off the walls, he's kind of, sometimes he's like a little bit of a weirdo. Like how do I tell my kid just like, hey, dude, just be normal uh, for five <laughs> seconds in, in like a loving way? Uh, thank you. Oh. Kids are crazy, I'll say it. Yeah, I'll say it too. Do you have like nieces and nephews in your life? Yeah, I do. And I know you do too. Yeah. And they're adorable. Oh my god! She and really I is. love them. Yeah. 
And I'm, and I'm like, don't she there? Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she told me that she's she they now. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, I'm talking about all our, our collect. I have like five nieces. You do? do? I, have, I have six. I have six nieces and nephews. I have two nephews. What's the age range? From... Do I have more than that now? Wait, two, sev- two, seven. I have seven nieces and nephews. Oh my god! From four months, four months old to thirteen. Whoa! Yeah, two boys, two nephews, and minus seven, five nieces. Is it really fun having a teenage niece? Yeah, it's re- a nephew. Nephew. Yeah, it's really fun. I guess we should say nibbling, huh? Yeah, okay. I think we we could workshop nibbling. I think I I just wish let, there run was it just through a the machine one I, more time. I know. Let's, I wish there was a better what's the word. the second idea? <laughs> yeah, what is the second? Cuz nibbling is I don't love nibbling. It's tough. It is tough. Uh, uh, but I can I can't I can't. Yeah. But here I am criticizing a thing. I don't have a solution for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a solution for it. I don't hear it. anything coming from you, babe. Sorry, I'm doing that thing. So until you come up with something better, <laughs> over here, we'll be saying nibbling. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And do you like gunkle? I don't, Yeah. obviously. Um, but I ultimately really am one. Do you feel like, do you feel that as like a... Oh, yeah. I feel like... I feel like a gunkle for yes, sure. Like very much like yeah. a gay. Yeah. Like, yeah, I am. You the, just are fun. Yeah. The, no one takes you seriously. Yes. Your life sucks, but everyone's laughing. <laughs> she Don't loves you, but, you, you, the but best? she hates you, but she loves and hates you. It's like that kind of thing. It's really fun. It's, it's actually so fun. And I think, I do think it's a cool figure to have in your life to have like a queer. Fuck. What do we, what do we call it? What's, what's neutral for aunt and uncle? <laughs> Quibbling. <laughs> if one of your parents' siblings is gay, it's cool. I think it it's is good. cool. It's really cool. Because you are like, I do think like I am inevitably you will introduce like a just some kind of a twist to whatever the thought train is yes. of like life and a child. Like you yes. are gonna offer a little bit of a derail which is interesting and fun and funny and it makes someone think and they're going to learn all this stuff eventually. But if they can learn just a little bit of like the, like that worldview, like a, just a slightly, just a slightly di- varied yeah. worldview early on, I think it would help. It would have helped me like unlock myself. Oh, I, I, I sound like I'm agree. like turning kids gay. I don't mean that. No, no, no. <laughs> I just mean like, um, you don't sound like that at all. Okay, cool. Uh, He's not doing that. I'm not trying to turn my niece gay. No, no, no. And we don't need more of us. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're kind of crushing it. (laughs) We got to cover it. We're kind of crushing it. And I like don't need more competition. Like, I'm not. Like, when people accuse us of like. When when, I almost dox my niece. When when her podcast comes, (laughs) babe, yours found dead in a ditch. No, I know. When when your when your niece's podcast, which is like advice slash women's sports, it's really problematic. It's really problematic. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she like kind of only talks about like a meat only diet. That yes. is gonna be. Oh my wait! Do you know about carnivores? Yes. <gasps> How are they shitting? I love carnivores. Well, they, they own like that's all they. Every eat, right? carnivore on TikTok is like white knuckling it. They are oh my God, smiling cor- through so much pain. Their bowels must be so fucked up. Their cholesterol. Speaking oh from my someone, God. Who, I wasn't even a carnivore, but I was close. Okay. I was really close. I would have eight eggs a day every day. Okay. I would also have a pack of prosciutto every day. I've seen it. And I would have a pack of ground chicken every single day. And after years of that, my cholesterol was 600. Okay. Where is it supposed to be? High is 200. Okay. The nurse thought it was a typo. (gasps) The doctor said he'd never seen that ever before. 600 so i and i was having vegetables and like carbs but you were just having too much meat yes so there is just i'm going i'm look i'm not a doctor but i'm going there is simply simply no way that this is a healthy way to live (laughs) but it is so fun to watch their tiktoks and like there's one where like she takes you to like a 
a Buffalo Wild Wings. And she's like, I'm going to show you how to be carnivore at a Buffalo Wild Wings. As if we don't already know. Like, you just as eat if meat. it's like the secret menu you item. You just eat meat. <laughs> and it just, it, 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 it goes off the rails almost instantly. Of course. And also, I find a lot of the carnivore, like, um, programming content <laughs> is really like, it's very chip on its shoulder. Every yeah. carn before you even even learn what carnivore is, you 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 find six videos of a carnivore kind of like they're the most discriminated group of people. They're just <laughs> upset already, but they're smiling and they're like, it's actually fine. And I'm actually really healthy and it feels good. And you can do whatever you want. People people can do whatever they want. And I'm gonna do that. And it's like really, it's intense. <laughs> and then that what they choose to do is eat eight burger patties. A oh my stick God. of butter as a snack. They'll have a stick of butter as a as like a snack during the day. That's like their Hidden Valley bar. <sighs> it's a Hidden Valley. Is that a ranch? Yeah, that, that's what that's am a I thinking dressing. Of? You're, it's um, I Nature, know, Valley. Nature Valley. Nature Valley. Nature Valley. Nature Valley. Yeah, yeah. And again, I'm not a doctor, and live your life. And I'll, I, if the carnivores look, they'll kick my ass. No, no, no. They, they are they strong. Will they will come for they'll me. They'll throw. They'll ruin your and other they'll shoulder. They'll kill me fucking dead. And yes. let me just say, I. Never once will I show up at a grocery store and try to keep you from buying all the meat you want. No, I would never stop. But I am watching the videos and I'm and I'm giggling my little ass off at home. <laughs> Do what you want to do. Live your life. But I'm giggling. Yeah, whatever you want in this country. Eat Hands. all the meat you want. Break the record for the highest cholesterol in the world. <laughs> I already did it, babe. He said it. You're living in my shadow. <laughs> How about that, carnivores? Get wait, on my level. Wait, did we give advice to that dad? Not yet. Okay, great. Yeah, Mine we're edging be, the dad. We're edging the dad. I love He's that. He's waiting for the advice. He's just like, oh, what do I do? Maybe have have seven burger patties and you think on it. Yeah. You Actually, feed it. your kid seven burger patties. Yeah. He's not going to be running around anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you what. He won't be bouncing off the walls after the seventh burger. No. And I am going to take these headphones off. Okay, yes. We and can, you know, right? here's the thing. Like on other podcasts, I've never once heard on a podcast anyone say, I'm going to take my headphones off. I say it every single episode. I love that. Every single episode I announce when I'm taking my headphones off because I feel like if I don't say it, then my guest feels abandoned Thank and you. surprised. No, I love it. Did you feel, did you imagine, imagine if I just took them off? Wouldn't you suddenly become self-conscious of the fact that you were wearing them? 100%. And I'd be like, what, what is the host doing? Yes. And yeah, it would break and, your and, heart. And why is he leaving me like exactly, this? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to, that'll be, that'll be a little um, uh, tradition on this pod. Is that. I love that you're starting traditions. Already. Yeah, you have to. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of like a cult leader. Yeah. You know? Kind of blazing your own trail in the exactly. podcast world. I'm really in charge. Um, okay, so this this dad, yes, a dad's calling in, and their kid is kind of annoying in public. Leave the kid at home. Damn, I mean, kids are so freaking cute, and I like them a lot. Yeah, and they're annoying. And they and they are annoying. I like them a lot. Yeah, I like them a lot. And if, are you, you're on a plane and a kid's screaming? Where are you? Where are you at? I feel bad. I mostly feel bad for the parent. Do you have a threshold? eventually a patience i don't i feel i feel like i can i'll i i know they're trying their hardest to to like get <laughs> do no. you ever, but do you ever go i don't know if they're trying their hardest <laughs> <laughs> do you ever think that honestly no 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 because yeah. i know it's just like a nightmare you're nice. you're nice you're nice you're nice and i feel bad i'm feeling like you have a threshold for it no honestly no i i feel like when a kid screams on a plane i take i use it as like a that's like a that child is like my greek chorus oh i love that like the, that kid is telling the truth okay that kid is screaming for me and i sort of embody the scream i imbue it with all of my rage and i just kind of in solidarity with the screaming child, I kind of just hold space and I go, Aww. yes, that baby is screaming because my shoulder still hurts. <laughs> and I just, I, it is cathartic. If you okay, sort of, I'll imbue, try to chant. I also, one time I was on a flight and this kid was screaming in like truly such a cartoonish way. Like just so like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, how, like a kid can cry, but a kid can also just like, I can't get it out. No, <laughs> can scream like a guttural oh, war yeah, yeah, cry yeah, 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 yeah. straight to the sky. Yes, yes. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> truly, like, it is like that baby is now channeling 
like 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 a war, like a war, like a fallen, <laughs> like an veteran. ancestral, yes, like an ancestral a primal sort of scream. scream. Yeah, it okay. is like that baby is is Godzilla in that moment. That baby is a dinosaur. That baby is like, and that baby was doing this, <laughs> and the flight attendant was also trying to make the announcements for the flight, and was sort of in conversation with a screaming, fire breathing baby, yeah. and the announcements, <laughs> and it was. And the flight attendant was getting bodied. The flight attendant was just losing the battle to the baby. Oh. And it was so funny to me because I also like the baby screaming on its own was already so funny that I started to just like do like a front facing video of myself. Like be like, can you guys hear it? Like, I just want someone to hear this. Like, it's <laughs> crazy. Like the decibel this baby's hitting should be a singer. Little Mariah Carey. Range. Yeah. The range. And then as I'm filming it, then the um, the flight attendant starts to like try to like kind of compete. And it was really like when you watch like Ryu and Ken and it's the red light and the blue light going back and forth. Is that? Um, Street Fighter. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. You don't know Street Fighter? No, I used to play all the time, but I didn't, I didn't know everyone's names. Oh. The little Sega, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Some people yeah. are saying Ryu and how do you? I always picked Right? The, is it? Ryu. It's Ryu, Who are right? the women? I always picked the women. Chun Li. Okay, yeah. I was Chun Li. Love Chun Li. Yes, that's another Nicki Minaj song. Gosh. Yeah. Wow, she can really pull from anything, huh? She really can. Um, but uh, yeah, I was always Chun Li. My sister was always E Honda. Is that ringing a bell? The uh, su sumo wrestler. Oh yes, yes. And See, my parents never let me buy violent games. Oh. So the only time I got to play Street Fighter was when we were like at the mall. And you know how, you know how like there were. Did that give you a, a deep, deep bloodthirst because you weren't allowed to play? No, a because game? they let me buy like s other games. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, let, they let me buy a gun. They, 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 <laughs> actually, they didn't like violent games, but they gave me a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but like we would split off. My sisters would go with my mom at the mall, and I would go with my dad. And my dad would always go to the like electronic section of the Sears, and there was always one area where you could like test. The Sega. So I would yeah. just like stand there and play. Oh, okay, okay, So I got okay. to play like once a week. We would go to the mall. That was our, our thing. God, wasn't going to the mall so good. It was so fun. Every summer, I had no friends. I had no life. I had no nothing. I just had what? my mommy. <laughs> you just had what? My mommy. I know, and you just go and... We would go to Roosevelt Field Mall, and we were just... We had... We just truly like... Because now when I do nothing, because I still... I have, I have nothing. I have nothing. This is all I have. You are all I have. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna pull, so I'm gonna, pressure. I'm gonna pull you down in such a way. You are all I have. <laughs> oh you are my life raft, Tian Tran. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm never um, giving back. But that now, book. when I, when I do nothing now, I'm like, you should do something. You should do something. You should do something. But when you're in high school and middle school, you're not. You just like there's a there's a boredom. It's just like, mwah, yeah. Of just like you do absolutely nothing and it doesn't fucking matter. Yes. You do absolutely nothing and it doesn't fucking matter. And we would just go to the mall. Me and my mom, we would just drive half an hour to Roosevelt Field. We'd just walk the fuck around. We wouldn't buy a goddamn thing. Yeah, same. And we'd get in the car and we'd drive back. And that was just like heaven. It was so fun. God, it's good. Yeah. I like really remember like with my mom, when it was with my mom, we would go to Panda Express at the Mill Creek Mall in Erie, Pennsylvania. <gasps> you would? Ooh. We'd go to Sakio. Oh, is that, is that, yeah, that, that's a good, that's the Japanese one. Yes. So good. Teriyaki the hibachi. Chicken. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, but you go to Pan Express. Go to Pan Express. My mom and I would split a three entree platter. Okay. What are the three entrees? It would be orange chicken. Then it would be, uh, what's the other one? Cashew chicken. And then it would be a little piece of like little beef, whatever their beef dish was. Yum. With noodles. Amazing. It was a beautiful time. Have you been to a Yoshinoya? What is that? Okay. I get the ads for those. Yes. In the mail. Okay. Is it good? I went for the first time recently. It's great. <gasps> It's great. Have you been to Yoshinoya? Yeah. It's good, right? What's your order? You think it's bad? You don't have to like it. I don't. You don't like it? You don't it? like it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your order? You don't want to go again. Oh. No, it's just like rice cakes, right? Yeah. Yeah. But don't say it like that. Yeah. It's, it's rice bowls. There you go. There yeah. You go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's rice bowls. Yeah, and but I love a... Yes, it's great. It's not like it's not the best rice bowl I've ever had, obviously, but it's good and okay. it's like affordable and it's there. It's open late. They have, I'll say, they had a, they have like a basic like a chicken katsu, like a fried, must... but it's almost like it's actually more like karage. Okay. Texturally, because it's pieces and it's that really like <laughs> oh, kind of chicken that. and it's the dark meat chicken and it is so 
<sighs> fucking good. It is by far, I think I can say for sure, the best chicken nugget, fast food chicken nugget you could find is the chick, a karage chicken at Yoshinoya. Yoshinoya. It is so fucking good. I, I just needed someone to say this. If you see one, check it out. Go in. Give it a shot. Okay. It's really, uh, yeah. I, These fast I, casual places doing dark meat, I'm like, thank you. Thank God. Thank God. What are we doing? Can we infuse with a little white moisture meat? here? Please. What are we flavor. doing? Also, speaking of cholesterol, do you know that white meat has the exact same amount of cholesterol as red meat? I did not know that. It meets the problem. It's just meat is bad. All meat, even I know. white meat. Are you, are you trying to like pull back on your meat consumption? I, I was. I really pulled back. And then I got... It's just so good. I know. I love is. pepperoni right now. Pepperoni is so good. Fuck, I love pepperoni. But yeah, no, it's like tofu and lentils. That'll really. Take I know. You I'm trying. I'm trying. Tofu and lentils, and you're you're yeah. You can really tip the scales. I'm really trying. But you got to. I gotta be. I gotta have meat. I got. I love chicken wings, and I love. What kind of wings? What kind of wings? Yeah. I mean, my favorite is like a Vietnamese crispy like fish sauce. Of course. Style, and then close fish sauce. Close second is like a Korean. Korean wing. Yes. Ooh. Perfect. Delicious. Sometimes our, our Korean wings sometimes like really sticky. Yeah. I don't love that. Oh. I don't love, I like a dry, hard crunch and then I'll dip it. Oh, I see. I keep bumping my booping. <laughs> I keep bumping my booping. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I like to preserve the, like the thing, my, like my big gripe with like chicken parm is like, you just took a delicious piece of fried, crunchy, wonderful yeah, chicken and, like, made and you it all soft. sogified it. Yeah. I completely, it's soggy now. I completely agree. So now I'm getting all these fucking carbs and calories and it's not even worth it. It's not even freaking worth it's it. Not even, it's soggy. It's soggy. I what accent are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And whatever it is, it's, it's soggy. offensive. Well, someone's and gonna, we shouldn't be doing. Someone's it. gonna come for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here supporting the host. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> going down with the host. Going down. You're pulling. You go down with the champy. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh my God. Fried chicken is just the greatest. Oh, it's just the best. The absolute greatest. I yeah. haven't done Jolly Bee. I've I? actually never had Jolly Bee. Okay. And I had a I had a callback for a Jolly Bee commercial, but I didn't get it. Boo. Is that why you haven't gone? Yeah. It's too too dramatic. Have you been in commercials? Yes. I was in a Lowe's commercial several years ago. Lowe's, and it was a the Lowe's, movie theater? Lo, no, Lowe's, the like the hardware store. The hardware store. That's perfect. And it was a lesbian Lowe's commercial. You were in a lesbian Lowe's yes. commercial? Yes. What we, were you doing? We were like trying to figure out our paint samples. Okay. And I think we like did like, like I think it was just one one shot of me with a big roller. Okay. And then at the end with my partner and we were both like, yeah, it looks good. Was the other actor a lesbian? No. Damn. Yes, Chicago casting, come correct, please. But was she big titted, hot as hell? <laughs> she was a very attractive woman. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Big titted. Should we pull it up as, real quick? Big titted, <laughs> hot as hell. <laughs> My God. <laughs> no, we have fun. No, we do have fun. We do, and they made me wear, they made me wear a. I can't remember, but there is like the equivalent of like a fire <laughs> island in Maine for lesbians. Uh, Tell me more. And I can't remember the name of it. In but Maine? In Maine. And they they had me wear like the name of the town on my, sh on my like as a t-shirt. Okay. As like a little like. Nod. A little like, you know, cookie crumb. We're little, one of you, yeah. Yeah. What do they call those little? Um, uh, oh, Easter egg. Easter egg. For the a lesbian. Crumb. <laughs> a, little, a little cookie crumb. Uh, it's uh, Jesus. He, he came back. Yes. And he brings a cookie crumb. <laughs> he brings a cookie crumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He leaves them all over the house. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, um, okay. So you're, uh, so you're a lesbian in a commercial. <laughs> Wait, I had something I so desperately wanted to tell you. Oh, oh, oh. I went to P-Town for the first time. What did you think? I fucking loved it. It's Have you ever been? Yes. God damn. Damn, it's Wait, good. Wait, when did you go? I went last summer for like P-Town Pride. I was. Uh, Were you performing? I was. Oh my God, amazing. It was amazing. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Yes, it like, was really, 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 really great. Although the weather wasn't good, and which is fine, but like it's a beach town and it was raining and gray. Oh. And it was like, you really need, like I just kept thinking the whole time, like I'm going to come back eventually. And when it's you sunny, should go back. I was even with, even it being overcast and cold and raining and ugh, even still, I was like, God damn mystified by the charm of this town. Yeah. 
fuck. It's beautiful. It's I didn't, like when people th- when people talked about it, I was like, oh, it can't be that. Like, it, yeah. I'm sure it's just, but it's just like a beautiful gay paradise. Yes, I feel like it's like um, Fire Island uh, or like. Um, Palm Springs, if it had like good restaurants and food, <laughs> I want food. I know I want good. F- I've never been to Fire Island. I I went once, but I was like, it was kind of a, it was like a not. I didn't do it right. I okay. didn't do the trip right. I should probably go again, but it's like there's my to, my understanding is it's there's really not a ton of restaurants, and it's not really like. I just like to eat. I, I like to too. go to a restaurant and eat. Did you get like a lobster roll up there? Oh my god, everything. Oh my god, it's it, it was, everything. Yeah, I it was really incredible. liked P Town. It's like yeah, it's like northeastern fish and yeah, it's the best. Fuck, it was so good. And then there is a uh, and this is fully an ad that I'm not getting paid for. Yes, there is a cupcake place in P Town called Scotty Cakes, and all they make. Look me in my eyes. I'm looking. I'm looking. All they make is a white cupcake with pink frosting. And that's it. That's it and they don't make anything else nothing you walk in it's that's all they have and it is is the best fucking cupcake you've ever had in your life it is see this is what i want more from small businesses just make one thing great really really good oh it is so good it is so it's the best cupcake i've ever had in my whole and it's and magnolia's is magnolia's for a reason i know it's like you go oh magnolia's but it's like it's really good it is better. Really? It is so goddamn fucking okay. good. Scotty's Cupcakes. You So if you ever go back, go to Scotty. Okay. I think it's called Scotty Cakes. Scotty Cakes, sorry. Scotty Cakes. Scotty Cakes. You gotta go. It's so good. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah, so I do. I like food and they have good food. I love, I mean, I love a place with good food. Yeah. And it's all cute and gay. It's so cute and gay. Yeah. It's so cute and gay. Okay, but back to this caller who's been oh, on God. the line I'm the for- ho- Holding this his whole kids, time. His kids have run into the street by now. They're <laughs> long gone. Yeah. So maybe you don't have a problem anymore. Maybe problems. <laughs> just keep the windows open. Yeah. I mean, what do you... I, I just... I feel bad for the for parents when they're yeah. kids. Because it's... I've... You know, Honestly, have you tried to wrangle one of your nieces? Like, have you tried to be like, stop doing the crazy thing that you're doing? Is the iPad that bad? No. Put the iPad... I don't think it's bad at all. Put the put iPad, the iPad, iPad in front of it. Give it the iPad. Just put the iPad down. Put the iPad on. Put on it's bluey. It's not great. I know it's not great. I know it's not great either, but I put on bluey. But I'm also, here's the thing. This is what I think about parents with like, with screen time. Like, we used to, we used to, parents used to be like, stop playing video games. It's a waste of time. Yeah. And now it is a career for many, many people. It is. People play video games online and they are, they have more money than I will ever see. I, uh, I feel like the screen time is the same thing where I'm going, we're all going to be robots, babe. Yeah. They're learning robot language. Let them learn it. You're right. The faster your kids. If your kids don't have a YouTube channel by three, they're washed up fucking losers. They are. Your kid's a fucking nobody. If, your if kid's your a child, loser. If your How many views is, is your kid getting on YouTube, bitch? Nothing. No, if your child is not an influencer by the time they can walk. What are you doing? They're going to live with you for the rest. Of, they're they're going to live with you for the rest of your life. I would we'll argue it's more to... important to be an influencer than to learn to walk. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> get that iPad in get front of your Get that iPad kid. in front of your child right now. You're get, missing, it you're missing get it closer. Get it closer to their face. Good years of content if you don't if, you, if they don't start a page right now. I just I I'm I'm being hyperbolic and um, ridiculous, but I also underneath all of that. There is a grain of truth. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like just, I don't, I don't think fighting technology is going to do you any favors. I don't know. Like, <sighs> we used to think it was embarrassing to post clips as stand-up comedians. And then we all gave up. We were, I know. Okay, we're all doing I, I know. It. I saw the Fine. switch. I'm still, I need it. to do it. We're just doing it. Like, just, I don't know if fighting is even helping. So, yeah, I do wonder about, like, the, the whole iPad thing. Like. When they're, I feel like when your kid's out, out somewhere at a restaurant, just put the, put the iPad out. And you know what's a sweet thing that my family is doing? I think my, my sister doesn't want her kid on so much YouTube because you can find accidentally find some, some weird videos on YouTube. Yeah, of course. And yeah. <laughs> so What so did your niece stumble upon? She stumbled upon a video of like, and it, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't fully inappropriate. It's just not appropriate for a three-year-old. Okay. Um, and it was like a video of like, it was probably more for like a 13-year-old of like a hamster fighting a snake. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you I, see how she got yes, there. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes. You see how she got there? Yeah. But then it was like, oh, The shit. bluey to hamster to fighting snake yeah. pipeline. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we had, to, we had to stop that video. I, I know you're saying, I know we were joking about letting your kids be influenced, but aren't you so, like, aren't you so glad that your sim oh. uh, is not that? Oh, Wait, so glad. Wait, say it again. So glad. So glad. <laughs> we, we were not on wait, the same wait, wait, page wait, wait. at all. Does your does your niece have like an Instagram? No. Okay. Aren't you so glad though that your sister like didn't try to make? Maybe so. Because yes. there is like, there is an influencer who's like a young kid who like does makeup. Yeah. And they're really young and they're doing makeup. And I, and I, I you have to scroll a comment. You're going one of the comments. And the comments are all fine. They're all just people like supporting it. Okay. Which is like. Better than bullying a literal child. Yes. But I'm also like, wait, like we're still doing it though. Like I don't know if like it creeps me out. Yeah. I don't know. I I I don't want to pass judgment on it. On no, a public I you're forum. you're absolutely right. That's for the Patreon, babe. I'm bullying kids on the Patreon. <laughs> Five bucks a month. I'm dunking on toddlers. That's yes. actually what the Patreon's it's called. called dunking, dunking on, on toddlers. toddlers. Yeah. Wow. I know other babies that walk better than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drink some milk, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Solid um, food, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't. No, no. Yeah, my niece does not have a no have my a page, no, no. and that's probably for the best. I think it is. But yeah, I, I, I don't necessarily even mean like, and I, I, I was a child actor with stage parents. I don't necessarily mean like be a stage parent to your kid who is an influencer, but like just understanding the language of the internet yeah. is so important, and like. Yeah it's probably more important than going to college is like understanding. Like if I knew, if I knew like six things about like crypto Reddit, like anything that would be so useful to me. I don't know. I'm just like, I think you're better off without that knowledge. Okay. You're thriving. You don't need to, don't do crypto. Don't do crypto. I don't know. Do you? I don't do it. I don't do it. It scares me. It's scary, but some people make a lot of money off of it. I know. You, but are they you happy? I don't want to make money. Are they happy? Are they happy? I think some of them are. I, don't know. I know at least one person who is really happy. Truly, I think so. Okay, he's hot. Well, he's hot probably girlfriend. happy because of that. Mm. Let's think about that just okay. for a minute. Okay, picture it. That's so cool. It's really hot. Just like OG guy on girl. Yeah, just cl classic. One of the old school ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you try? Of course I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the literal <laughs> worst advice. Okay, ready? Worst advice I ever got in my entire life. Try to be straight. Try to be Catholic, Catholic church. Try to be straight. Wait, wait for the one. Liter worst <sighs> advice of my life. My mom once. We never talked about sex. We never talked about relationships. One time during, I think the NCAA March Madness. We're watching. <laughs> we're watching. Like just in my room. She turns to me. She goes, I only knew your father. That was it. That's I all she said. I only knew your I father. I only knew your father. I didn't ask a follow up question. She didn't want to talk about it anymore. But that is what she said. Wait, to but you didn't ask her anything. No, she just like just apropos of apropos nothing. of nothing was just like I want you to know I only knew your father, and I was like, is that a threat? Like what? Is, yeah. Like what do you is want that? me to like? I think that was her being like, save yourself for the right man. You know what's so funny? Like you go back. I'm sure a your mom doesn't even remember it. No, no, she doesn't at and all. B if she did, she'd be like, oh, no, I said something totally different. Yeah, but and you to were me, like, the but Catholic to me, I'm like, fucking church <laughs> is on my dick every day. <laughs> Telling me to go yeah. find a dick right away. <laughs> oh, my God. But I really did. I say I tried to I like saved myself. Yeah. For the right man. But I was an older virgin. R were you? Yeah, twenty one. It's not crazy, but it's old. I finished college, and then you did, and then you, and now I'm a fucking whore. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. So no. we tried it. Yeah, we. I tried. I tried it, but I also like you know gave a lot of hand jobs and like nice. blow jobs. Yeah. Throughout my storied college career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not anymore not anymore baby no not with these shoulders not with these sh not with these shoulders are you kidding it's me it's crazy i'm like not at the can, emerging lesbian I'm like, summit i'm like i'm trying to have sex i'm like can you stand on an apple box <laughs> please and i'll stand on the ground and then that will kind of just do i need like a standing desk <laughs> no, 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 for sex i couldn't agree more because it's like i can't this no i can't bend over i can't 
I can't reach. I can't anything. Yes. Like I need, I mean, maybe a sex swing, but we got to hoist it a lot higher than you'd think. Yes. And <laughs> okay. also like they look, I wish like sex swings were more aesthetically pleasing. I'm seeing tassels. Like, oh, interesting. That's kind of fun, right? I've like, never like, seen what's that. It called? Like what's that guy's name? Like um, the country singer, the gay country singer. Oh, um, Orville Peck. Oh. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say Overall Peck, but like the I'm picturing. Yeah, like you know how his, yeah. his mask has the dangles? It's so hot. Like, I really like that. What if the sex swing had dangles? Yeah, if I if I wanted the rest of my house to have like a 1920s, like <laughs> rolling 20s vibe. Yeah. Yes. Of flappers. Yeah, like a little flappers energy. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like Prohibition era, speakeasy. Yeah, if okay. I could get like some sort of like, if I can get like an ergonomic fuck machine me too oh my god yeah yes. that would be amazing and then also something easier on my joints everything literally everything like if we I yeah agree. like maybe it's just maybe it's just an anti-gravity room like I think we just so. go to like a space station in san diego maybe it should be and you know just how turn it on and we get in there <laughs> or we should just like like a, like a sort of like adult private skydiving <laughs> Like um, what? what look, is look, the, my my, my cheeks yeah, yeah. are already going. <laughs> but not not Why jumping not, like, from a plane. Dicks in there? <laughs> not not jumping from a plane, but the one where like oh they train you. The, the one where the you're training in. Center. Yeah, the training centers. Well, okay, me you, a Dave and Buster's. Okay, me you, Dave and Buster's. <laughs> we climb me, on you, top of the Dave Jurassic Busters. Park game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll make it work. I think we can absolutely make it work. <laughs> <laughs> if they can make ergonomic keyboards, they can absolutely anything. Anything for I us. Also, I want like a full body scan. Okay. That then, um, like identifies my joint issues and tells me what to do. Well, not only that, but then makes a bed for me, <gasps> like an Invisalign bed for exactly my body's issues. Wow. So that I just lay, in, I just get in it and it's a perfect shape of whatever I need to be. Maybe one leg's a little higher because I have a lower whatever. My C4 isn't happy, so there's a little extra. Bleh. Okay, like, I love just that. Just literally, like, like, a, like, a, like a Pond Solo frozen yes. thing. But for me, and I get in it and I just, and I'm out and I just wake up every morning with a fighting chance. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> don't you? Oh my god! High tea. The way you're screaming gives yeah. very, very boron. Baby, baby, very boron yeah, of a you. A baby high on boron. <laughs> you're so high on boron. On the plane, right screaming for everyone. <laughs> Why don't we have that? <sighs> and how about this too? How about this? How about we don't charge eighty fucking k for it? How about I know. that? How about that? How about I every know. fucking miracle cure? How Doesn't cost how much nine million because you know you have it and you keep it from. God fucking damn it. Why is every thing so, so expensive? I don't know. Like how much is a sleep number bed? Too much. I don't even want to look. I don't but I don't even know if a sleep number is going to help. Would do you. it for you? Because you'll probably end up putting it in a position that's worse for you. I need science to step in. You, to 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 make you uh, and like, show me exactly. Yeah. I'm seeing Your own sort of like I'm live seeing like like beep beep boop boop. I'm like seeing it too. Tectonic. And I'm seeing you kind of like Sleeping in like a position maybe, that works. Maybe but a part of it is it moves with you night times of the night. It has to come up a little. My blood. It's no, monitoring my blood. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I think that would be so cool. Oh my god! I think by the time this podcast episode comes out, <laughs> yeah, it'll you'll take, have that technology. It's gonna take that long. But do you think we'll have it eventually? Yeah. It is scary to think of like. I bet all you and I could look up right now. Someone will have some version of that. Version is, of it. it exists. I bet. That must be one of the harder things about being really old is yes. reimagining your life if you had all the things uh. that are now. I was talking to, oh my God, I was talking to Mo, our producer, who definitely did not leave a voicemail under a pseudonym at any time. Uh, it was Steve. Uh, <laughs> he was like, I think this, the star patches for acne. I go, isn't it so great that we have that now? I wish I had that as a kid. Yeah, same. And he was like, No. It's going to make the kids need to get bullied a little bit. Oh, so he's he's one of those. He's one of those boomers <laughs> that are like, he's, he's one of those guys he's that are bad. like, that are no, like. No, he's a great guy. Okay. He's actually a, a phenomenal. Aww. I actually, I actually can't speak highly enough of his character. He's a really good guy. Oh. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I thought it was interesting just to think about like how, like, I just, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. And I just know it's just going to be more and more and more. They're going to have whatever has been ailing my shoulder. They're going to cure it in like 18 yes. years. Yes. And, and then I'm you're just going like, to be like, it's too late for me. What yeah. if I had my whole life like that? Yeah. Just. Well, I like to end on a really dark note. No, I love it. End on a regret. You yes. Know? Yeah. Kind of like. Something that you just I'm like, looking out a window. 
and it's raining. <laughs> yeah. And you can't open the window because your shoulder hurts so bad. Yeah. 